The term Ursulines refers to a number of religious institutes of the Catholic Church. The best known group was founded in 1535 at Brescia, Italy, by Saint Angela Marici (1474–1540) for the education of girls and the care of the sick and needy. Their patron saint is Saint Ursula. They are divided into two branches, one being the monastic order of Saint Ursula post nominals OSU, among whom the largest group is the Ursulines of the Roman Union, described in this article. The other branch is the Company of Saint Ursula, commonly called the Angelines, who follow the original form of life established by their foundress. History Topic. Topic. Origins Topic. Marici, a member of the Third Order of St. Francis, was a woman of deep mystical belief, which she combined with the service of the poor and needy. She believed that she experienced a call from God to found a community to share this work. From men and women who labored with her, she selected 28 women who wished to commit their lives to this endeavor. These women, along with Marici, made a commitment of their lives to the service of the church and of the poor on 25 November 1535, the feast day of St. Catherine of Alexandria, a major female spiritual figure in the Middle Ages. The women called themselves the Company of St. Ursula, taking as their patroness the medieval patron saint of education. Continuing to live in their family homes, they would meet regularly for conferences and prayer in common. Marici drew up a rule of life for them. In 1538 the company held its first general chapter, at which Angela was elected, mother, for life. In 1539 she added her testament and a book of counsels to regulate the life of the group. Marici's vision was that they were to live among the people they served without any distinguishing feature, such as a religious habit. The company grew rapidly, being joined by women from throughout her hometown of Desenzano. They came to be organized in groups, according to the parish in which they lived, and the company spread throughout the diocese of Brescia. One of the early works of the new company was to give religious instruction to the girls of the town at the parish church each Sunday, which was an innovation for the period, having traditionally been left to the local parish priest. Their work quickly spread to other dioceses in the region. Angela Marici died on 27 January 1540. The company was formally recognized in 1546 by Pope Paul III. Marici's death in 1540, however, had left the company without a clear leader. Organized loosely, questions about their future began to surface. Additionally, pressure began to come from the officials of the church, who were uncomfortable with a group of consecrated women living independently, not under the direct authority of the clergy. Topic. Introduction of monastic life Topic. In 1572 in Milan, at the insistence of St. Charles Borromeo, the Cardinal Archbishop of Milan, the Ursulines agreed to become an enclosed religious order. Pope Gregory XIII approved this step, putting them under the rule of St. Augustine, in place of Marici's rule. Especially in France, groups of the company begin to reshape themselves as cloistered nuns, under solemn vows, and dedicated to the education of girls within the walls of their monasteries. In the following century, the Ursuline nuns were strongly encouraged and supported by St. Francis de Sales. They were called the Ursuline nuns, as distinct from the Federated Ursulines of the company, who preferred to follow the original way of life. Both forms of life continued to spread throughout Europe and beyond. At the beginning of the 18th century, the period of its greatest growth, the order was represented by 20 congregations, 350 convents and from 15,000 to 20,000 nuns. <inaudible> Ursulines in North America Canada <inaudible> 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 The Ursuline sisters were not the first Catholic nuns to land in the New World. They were preceded by the Hieronymate Order in 1585 in Mexico City, who established the convent of San Geronimo y Santa Paula. In 1639, Mother Marie of the Incarnation, two other Ursuline nuns, and a Jesuit priest left France for a mission to Canada. When they arrived in the summer of 1639, they studied the languages of the native peoples and then began to educate the native children. 
They taught reading and writing as well as needlework, embroidery, drawing, and other domestic arts. The Ursuline Convent in Quebec City is the oldest educational institution for women in North America. Their work helped to preserve a religious spirit among the French population and to Christianize native peoples and Métis. United States the first Ursulines arrived at Mobile, Alabama, in 1719 though information is contradictory from remaining and available sources. In 1727, twelve Ursulines from France landed in what is now New Orleans. The entire group of Ursulines were the first Roman Catholic nuns in what is now the United States. Both properties were part of the French colony of Louisiana New France. They came to the country under the sanctions of Pope Pius III and Louis XV of France. Following the Louisiana Purchase in 1803, their charter came under the jurisdiction of the United States. They instituted a convent and school, both of which continue today. Ursuline Academy New Orleans is the oldest continually operating Catholic school in the United States and the oldest girls' school in the United States. The Ursuline tradition holds many United States firsts in its dedication to the growth of individuals, including the first female pharmacist, first woman to contribute a book of literary merit, first convent, first free school and first retreat center for ladies, first classes for female slaves which continued until abolition, free women of color a unique New Orleans group also known as Creoles of color and Native Americans. In the Mississippi Valley region, Ursuline provided the first social welfare center. The old Ursuline convent is located in the Vieux Carré, New Orleans, French Quarter. It is the oldest building in the Mississippi River Valley. The building now houses the Archdiocese of New Orleans. Archives as well as operating as a tourist attraction museum with public tours available almost daily. They had a well-established presence as a hospital by the time of the US Revolutionary War. Ursuline sisters treated in the same building both British and United States soldiers wounded in the war. They may have been the first group of women propagating the ideals of diversity in a society, which flowed directly from the teachings of Saint Ursula and her followers. Ursuline nuns, primarily from France and Germany, settled in other parts of North America including Boston 1820, Brown County, Ohio 1845, Cleveland 1850, New York City 1855, Louisville 1858, Chatham, Ontario 1860, and Bruno 1916 and Prelate 1919 in Saskatchewan. These foundations spread to other parts of North America including Toledo, Youngstown, Ohio, Mount St. Joseph, Kentucky, Santa Rosa, Texas, and Mexico City. In 1771, the Irish Ursulines were established at Cork by Nano Nagel. Today the monastic order of St. Ursula post -nominals OSU has as its largest group the Ursulines of the Roman Union, described in this article. The other branch is the Company of St. Ursula, commonly called the Angelines who follow the original form of life established by their foundress. The members wore a black dress bound by a leathern girdle, a black sleeveless cloak, and a close-fitting headdress with a white veil and a longer black veil. <laughs> Role in education Colleges and universities In the United States, the Ursulines have founded two well-known Catholic women's colleges. Ursuline College in Pepper Pike, Ohio, was founded in 1871 by the Ursuline Sisters of Cleveland. It was followed in 1904 by College of New Rochelle, which is located in New Rochelle, New York. In 1919, the Ursulines founded a university-level liberal arts college for women in London, Ontario, Canada. Currently called Brescia University College Brescia College at its foundation, it remains the only university-level college for women in Canada and is affiliated with the University of Western Ontario. From 1922 to 1975 the Mary Mance College in Toledo, Ohio, was operated by the Ursulines. It was a women's college until 1971, then was coeducational for its final four years. In 1932, the Great Falls Junior College for Women was founded in Great Falls, Montana, now the University of Great Falls. It has an open admission policy. 
The Mount St. Joseph Junior College for Women operated between 1925 and 1950 in Maple Mount, Kentucky, with the Ursulines offering coeducational extension courses at Owensboro. The Ursulines merged their extension courses with Mount St. Joseph Junior College in 1950, creating the coeducational Brescia University that remains in operation. In 1966, the Ursulines established in Taiwan what became the Wenzhou Ursuline College of Languages. From 1968 to 2003 the Ursuline Order operated Ursula College at the Australian National University in Canberra, Australia. It is a coeducational residential college for approximately 200 undergraduates. In 2003 the college was sold to the university and was renamed Ursula Hall. The Ursuline tradition has been retained in the Hall's high educational standards, retention of Ursuline symbols and livery, and the observance in October of Ursi's weekend for relaxing and socializing before November exams. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Secondary Education. Topic: <inaudible> Ursuline secondary education schools are found across the United States and other countries. The first school was Ursuline Academy, began in 1727 in New Orleans, Louisiana. It is the oldest all-girls school in the country. The Academy of Mount St. Ursula High School in the Bronx is the oldest all-girls Catholic high school in New York State, founded in 1855, the same year Sacred Heart Academy in Louisville, Kentucky, was founded. The Ursuline School in New Rochelle, New York, is a school for girls in grades 6 to 12 and is closely affiliated with the nearby Iona Preparatory. Other notable all-female Ursuline secondary schools in the United States include Ursuline Academy of Dallas, Texas, Ursuline Academy in St. Louis, Missouri, founded in 1848, and Ursuline Academy in Wilmington, Delaware, in the London borough of Newham, United Kingdom, is the all-female girls school St. Angela. S, named after the founder of the Ursulines. Only the sixth form center of the school allows males. The same applies to the Ursuline High School in Wimbledon, which has recently been selected as a regional winner London Secondary in the Church School Awards 2011. Ursulines also have St. Ursula. S. Convent School in Greenwich which educates girls aged 11 to 16 and coeducational Ursuline College, Westgate on Sea. The British philosopher and author Celia Green has written extensively about her time at the Ursuline High School now Ursuline Academy Ilford in Ilford, London. Street. Angela de Merici inspired the Ursuline sisters to provide young women with an opportunity to achieve their full potential. Throughout their lives, students continue to remain part of the Ursuline community and continue to carry forward the legacy of St. Angela de Merici. By serving their society, there is an Ursuline convent, in Ranchi, Jharkhand, India. In Thailand, the Ursulines established Mater Dei School in Bangkok in 1928. Its elite alumni include Kings Ananda Mahadal and Bhamibal Day. Although an all girls school, it enrolled boys from kindergarten through primary two. In Indonesia, the Ursulines established the Princess Juliana School in Batavia 1912, after its initial establishment as an Ursuline convent in 1859. Now the school is known as St. Ursula Catholic School and is an all-girls school. Like their colleges, not all Ursuline secondary schools have remained single-sex. Villa Angela Academy, founded in 1878, in Cleveland, Ohio, merged with Marianist Society of Mary St. Joseph High School in 1990 forming the co-ed Villa Angela St. Joseph High School. The aforementioned Ursuline Academy in Delaware permits male students in grades 1 to 3, and Ursuline High School in Youngstown, Ohio, founded in 1905, is fully coeducational. Other Ursuline secondary schools in the United States include Beaumont School in Cleveland Heights, Ohio, founded in 1850, Ursuline Academy in San Antonio, Texas, founded 1851, closed 1992, Ursuline Academy in Cincinnati, Ohio, founded in 1898, St. Ursula Academy in Cincinnati, Ohio, the Ursuline Academy of Dedham in Dedham, Massachusetts, Ursuline High School in Santa Rosa, California, founded in 1880, Ursuline Academy in Springfield, Illinois, founded 1857, which was co-ed from 1981 until it closed in 2007, and St. Joseph's Ursuline Academy in Malone, New York, closed in 1977 and was co-ed at least from the mid-1960s. There are Ursuline secondary schools in Ireland in Thurles, County Tipperary, Waterford, Blackrock, County Cork, and Sligo, Ireland, which have remained single-sex. 
Topic See also Topic Congregation of the Ursulines of the Agonizing Heart of Jesus Grey Ursulines École des Ursulines Quebec Dorothy Kazel Society of the Sisters of Saint Ursula of the Blessed Virgin Ursuline Convent Riots Ursulines of Quebec includes Ursulines Museum Ursuline Sisters Daughters of Mary Immaculate Topic Notes Topic Topic Further reading Topic. Agnes Replier. Mere Marie of the Ursulines, A Study in Adventure New York, 1931, on Canada to 1672 Dom Guy Marie Ori. Les Ursulines de Quebec, 1639-1953 2000. Querciolo Mazzoni's. A Female Idea of Religious Perfection, Angela Marici and the Company of St. Ursula 1535-1540. Renaissance Studies, 18, 3, 2004, 391 to 411. Emily Clark, ed. Voices from an American Convent. Marie Madeleine Hachard and the New Orleans Ursulines, 1727 to 1760. Baton Rouge, Louisiana State University Press, 2007. Q. Matsonis. The Impact of Renaissance Gender-Related Notions on the Female Experience of the Sacred: The Case of Angela Marici's Ursulines. In Lawrence Lux Sterrett and Carmen Mangian, eds. Gender, Catholicism and Spirituality, Women and the Roman Catholic Church in Britain and Europe, 1200-1900 Basingstoke, Palgrave Macmillan, 2011 Leerheimer, Linda Topic. External links Topic. Ursulines of the Roman Union, official website Ursulines of the United States Ursulines of Indonesia Works by an anonymous Ursuline at Project Gutenberg The Ursuline Convent in Beaugency, France Become a Nun The Ursulines Youngstown, Ohio Ursuline Sisters of the Cincinnati, Ohio Ursuline Sisters of Mount St. Joseph Ursulines UK